Hello everyone, Top Shelf Toy here for Game Passionate. Start your engines because Forza Motorsport 8 is here. The latest racing game from Turn 10 Studios just dropped on Xbox Series S and X and Microsoft Windows. It's also available on Game Pass. The Forza games are Microsoft's flagship racing series and are split into two categories, Forza Horizon and Forza Motorsport. The Horizon series is a bit more relaxed and focuses on open world exploration, while the Motorsport series has more emphasis on the technical side of racing as a sport. One common theme between the two game series is that they look amazing, and Forza Motorsport 8 is no exception. This game is packed with over 500 real-world cars and 20 rebuilt tracks from around the world. Time of day and weather options can challenge you to master driving under whichever conditions you choose. There are 10 time of day options ranging from sunrise to midnight and even more weather options. Personally, I've been a big fan of the Horizon series, but I haven't spent much time on the motorsport side. As I was saying before, the motorsport games are more focused on the technical side of racing simulation. That means you'll be competing on closed loop tracks doing multiple laps. While you will be racing with other cars on the track, you're really competing with the clock. All of your statistics are monitored and you'll be penalized by time for any track violations like passing off road. At the start of a new series, the game will give you a choice between three cars that are great starting points. You choose the one that you like, and you're off. Before each race, you'll need to do at least three practice laps around each track. This'll not only give you a feel for all the twists and turns, but it'll also let the game know what your skill level is. If you're going crazy fast or not fast enough, the game may suggest that you adjust the difficulty level. Once you've cleared your three laps, you can keep practicing or go on to the event. As you start your event, I really like that you can select your starting position out of the 24 slots. The farther back you start, the more credits you'll earn if you get to the top three podium by the end of the race. More credits means you can buy more cars or more parts to enhance the cars that you already have in your garage. Each car can level up, and as they do, you can unlock new parts that can be used to increase the vehicle's performance. You can upgrade your car in between each event, and they suggest experimenting with different parts. If you don't get the result you're looking for, remove the part and use the refunded points for something else. Each car has its own unique set of parts. I'm not much of a gearhead myself. I know the basics, but that's about it. Thankfully, there is a quick upgrade option that will install parts for you and build a car with a balanced performance. I've been having a great time with this game. The racetracks are pretty to look at, and it's really fun to slam the gas as you come out of corners overtaking rival cars. The multiple laps on each track let you get into a groove and gradually shave precious seconds off your race times. I really hope everyone that's interested gets to check this game out. It's packed full of content, gorgeous graphics, and engaging high-speed gameplay. Thanks for checking out our channel, Game Passionate. Both Neberose and myself love playing and talking about video games, so we created this channel where we can do both. With you! If you enjoyed the content, please consider giving us a like or subscribing if you haven't already. It really helps us out. Don't forget to tell us what your favorite cars or racers are in the comments below. Thanks for watching. See you next time.